Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. I love how some of you guys have been saying in my comment section that I should change it to every single day because I've been uploading like nearly every day during quarantine. And I would, but I don't want to commit to this uploading schedule because ooh, it's a lot of work. But honestly, anything to keep you guys entertained during quarantine. I don't know about you, but it seems like a lot of YouTubers haven't been uploading as much during quarantine, or maybe it's just because we have a lot more time. I don't know. It just seems like there's not a lot of content out there. So I'm like, I just want to keep creating as much as I can to keep you guys entertained. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm talking about a brand that I've previously mentioned in some videos where I talk about some products I really like by them, but I haven't really delved into the brand as a whole, letting you guys know all of my thoughts on it. I'm going to be talking about whether Kate Somerville is worth it or not. And I'm really excited because today's video is actually sponsored by Kate Somerville, which honestly took me by surprise when I saw their email coming in. I was just like, oh shit, Hiram, you're playing with the big boys. You're playing with the big boys now. Oh, that was rough. But honestly, I mean, Kate Somerville is a brand that I've used and recommended in the past, and they have a lot of products that I really, really like. And I'm actually really grateful they did offer to sponsor me because you guys know I am so picky on my channel about who I work with, and I get usually about anywhere from 10 to 30 sponsorship offers every single day. And 90% of those I have to turn down because they don't align with my personal philosophy on skincare, which you know sucks because I'm missing out on a lot of opportunities, but I would rather keep it honest with you guys and only partner with the brands that I truly support from my personal skincare philosophy. So when Kate Somerville reached out, I was like, yay, it's a win-win. So thank you, Kate Somerville, for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys as always for being super cool about my sponsorships. So let's get into it. I'm first going to talk a little bit about the brand, then go through some of my favorite products ingredient by ingredient because ingredients don't lie, bitch. And then tell you guys at the end whether I think Kate Somerville is worth it or not. And get excited because I'm going to be talking about three new products from the brand that are not yet released. And they sent me about a month ago and I've been trying over the course of a month. Ooh, I'm excited to talk about them because they're my favorite. Kate Somerville is also offering a discount code for you guys, just my audience. Use Hiram25 for 25% off your purchase. 25. 25% off is a killer deal and honestly I was shocked when they told me that. I was like oh are you sure? That's a lot. But this discount code lasts from May 5th until the end of the month. So make sure if you are going to buy any Kate Somerville products that you shop during this time so you can take advantage of that code. So first a little bit about the brand Kate Somerville. As far as the brand mantra, they really focus on providing active products. So products with a lot of active ingredients to really give you a noticeable difference in your skin. But the brand overall has been shifting towards more product selection for people who are looking to repair their moisture barrier and just focus on overall skin health rather than purely actives. I would consider them a luxury cosmetic brand. They have different ranges that are available at different stores, but I'd say the most popular range from about $40 to $80. I'd say right in that price range. Now, when it comes to product prices, you guys know that I don't mind spending a good amount of money on a product so long as it has a killer ingredient list. What I usually have a problem with is spending a ton of money on products that really don't have good formulas. But when they have good formulas, I'm like, oh baby, take my money. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot about the brand overall, but a few things that I did want to point out that I personally respect is that they're currently in line to shift all of their packaging to 100% recyclable packaging by the year 2025, which of course is a move forward and I always want to celebrate that for any brand. And they removed all of their plastic box packaging and now use forest certified FSE paper. And then for the month of May, what Kate Somerville is doing is partnering with the World Central Kitchen for COVID-19 relief, or 15% of all of the sales from Kate Somerville will be donated to that organization to help communities who are in need, as well as frontline healthcare workers, as well as helping small restaurants survive, which I think is so cool. Being here in Hawaii, there's a lot of small restaurants and a lot of them are already starting to go out of business which makes me so sad which is why I've been trying to eat out at those small restaurants as much as possible to help support them and I think it's really cool that 15% of their sales are going towards that organization just amazing work so now let's get into the interesting stuff the stuff I know you guys are here for the products now I'll be honest Kate Somerville has a huge product selection and some of the products I don't like and some of them I really like so when Kate Somerville approached me I was like can I choose the products to talk about in this video because if I'm going to be talking about products I'm going to share with you guys the best ones that they have. And they were gracious enough to send me all of these, some of which I have used and recommended before and others I've been using over the past month. We get into my top three favorite products, which all happen to be Kate Somerville's newest launches. It is their Delicate line, a line completely focused on repairing the skin's moisture barrier, which I'm so happy to see because if you've watched some of my videos, I constantly talk about how the moisture barrier needs to be protected, moisturized, and how the industry needs to start talking more about the moisture barrier and the long-term health of the skin than about 
about instant gratification results. And Kate Somerville has released a whole line for it. So first up from the line is their Delicate Soothing Cleanser. And this one they sent and I was kind of like, nah, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but I'll give it a shot. And I ended up really enjoying. So first off, when it comes to cleansers that are usually aimed towards people with sensitive or compromised skin, they're usually so gentle to the point that I feel like they're doing nothing on my skin. I'll put it on my skin, wash it off, and I'm like, Barbara, that did nothing. But this one I liked so much because yes, while it was a very gentle cleanser, it still felt like it deeply cleansed my skin without overly stripping it, which honestly from a formula perspective is really hard to accomplish. So I really give props to Kate Somerville for developing this. For ingredients I like, it has really gentle surfactants that aren't gonna overly strip the skin, as well as carpolic triglyceride, a really hydrating ingredient, glycerin, linoleic acid, ceramides, amino acids, just a bunch of ingredients that are really good for maintaining the health of the moisture barrier. It's rare that I find a cleanser that has a good balance of both of those properties. So I highly recommend it to anyone out there who is struggling to find a cleanser that won't overly strip your skin, but still gives you really good results. The Delicate Recovery Serum. From an ingredient standpoint, this has the most impressive ingredient list out of all the Kate Somerville products. A second ingredient is yeast proteins, which is where the topics of prebiotics and probiotics enter the conversation, which means it helps maintain the level of good bacteria on the skin. When it comes to just maintaining the skin's barrier and making sure that our skin is healthy and happy, there needs to be a good amount of good bacteria on the skin. And when there's bad bacteria, that's where you'll see an increase in things like fungal acne, sensitivity and rashes, and good bacteria will also help to reinforce the moisture barrier. And the fact that it's the second ingredient in this product is just really, really impressive to me, something that I very rarely find. It also has an ingredient called ectoin, which helps maintain the water balance that the skin is retaining, as well as a good antioxidant ingredient, as well as ceramides, a good soothing peptide complex, and amino acids. Just so many good ingredients that I definitely want in my skincare products to protect my moisture barrier. I also really like it because it's very lightweight. A lot of serums that are focused on repairing the moisture barrier tend to be extremely heavy on the skin. And someone who has combination oily skin like myself, I don't want a really heavy moisturizer. I want something lightweight. And this one is a very runny, lightweight texture. See, it's just very lightweight. It soaks up. It's not overly shiny. I just really like the formula. Also with the concentration that this has, you need to use barely any serum for it to be really effective. It's not one of those where you go in with a whole vial. You just use a tiny bit. And with the concentration, concentration that the ingredients are at, that's more than enough. And then the last product it is their Delicate Recovery Cream. This one is awesome for a variety of reasons. First off, the ingredient list it has glycerin, propanediol, shea butter, all of which are really moisturizing and hydrating ingredients, as well as a ceramide complex, soothing peptide complex, green tea extract, bisabolol, which is a great antioxidant and soothing ingredient, and ginger extract, a very high quality ingredient that has so many benefits, but is really hard to find in a lot of skincare products. It also has glass packaging, and one thing that is so impressive about this. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've been using this every day for almost a month straight and the amount that I've used is so little. This is one of those creams where you take a tiny little bit and it just spreads so well on the skin. I typically use this on my dry cheeks and on my neck. I love this one because again, I don't know what it is with Kate Somerville and their innovative textures, but this one has a very cool texture. It's not like most moisturizers that are very thick, heavy layer on the skin. It is a thick cream, but once you put it on the skin, it really translates into a more lightweight texture that doesn't feel suffocating. For how long it lasts, for the ingredients that it has, and my skin using it, it just always reduced the redness and sensitivity, which is something I struggle with on my cheek area, and is a great moisturizer to use during the daytime and the nighttime. And honestly, anyone who is looking to buy a single product from Kate Somerville to help with reducing sensitivity and irritation, I would point you to this product. My experience with it, the ingredients, and the formula is just great. The Liquid Exfoliate. If you are familiar with Kate Somerville, pretty much their most popular product is their their exfoliate treatment. And while it does deliver really good results, I personally was super excited when they came out with this product because it was a more gentle version in a different format. I really just like that they did open up that product range to align more with my philosophy. So this one's cool because it's formulated with lactic acid, glycolic acid, two of my favorite exfoliating acids because they work really well to get rid of all the dead skin cells on the face but this also has enzymatic exfoliants, which are still exfoliating acids, but they're just a lot more gentle on the skin. This also has green tea extract, which is great for soothing the sensitivity on the skin, as well as radish extract, pumpkin extract, and a bunch of other extracts that are good antioxidants and also serve as good exfoliating ingredients. Whew, that was the description. The only thing I don't like about this is that it is formulated with citrulline, 
citronellol. Citronellol. Oh, why is it so difficult for me to say that? Citronellol. <laughs> and geraniol, which are two fragrant components, but they aren't paired alongside fragrant essential oils, which is usually where fragrant components are the most problematic. This is a 10% exfoliating treatment, so it really packs a punch. The reason why I like this one so much is because it's so hard to find a really lightweight exfoliating treatment that has this high of a percentage without kind of leaving like a sticky residue behind. This one feels just like an essence or a toner and it doesn't leave behind that super sticky tacky feeling afterwards. And I think it's a great treatment for using like three times a week to where you can see really good exfoliation ability while not over exfoliating your skin. I've personally liked this product for a long time. I mean, ever since it first came out, which was like a year ago. And bonus, the packaging, out. It's glass and really high quality and one that you can easily put other products into afterwards, meaning it's reusable and more environmentally sustainable. I just really like this product. Next is their goat milk cleanser, which I would say is a cleanser most suitable for people with really dry or really sensitive skin. I say this all the time in my videos, cleansing can be one of the most damaging parts of a skincare routine. And it's really important that you make sure you're not overly stripping your skin. I like this one because it has really gentle surfactants or cleansing agents that aren't going to overly strip the skin, but it also has jojoba oil, avocado oil, both of which are really hydrating and moisturizing oils and avocado oil can reduce sensitivity as well as milk protein. This product is part of their goat milk line and honestly, I think really innovative because goat milk and milk proteins are ingredients that you don't find in many products. The reason why I think goat milk is really good is because the pH of goat milk matches a human skin, which means it's not gonna overly sensitize the skin and with the combination of amino acids and emollient properties, it's ingredients that are really soothing and hydrating to the face. Plus the ingredient lactic acid, I mean lactic as in lactose, is also found in milk so you're getting a very very gentle and mild exfoliation ability. I personally think milk proteins should be in more products and with the concentrations that they're at within this product range I really am impressed by the formula. The only thing I don't like about this is that it does have fragrance however I said all the time in my videos I don't mind fragrance in a wash off treatment because you're not leaving it on your skin long enough to see any sensitivity. My experience with this I liked it but I think it's best for people with more dry or normal skin. I have combination oily skin so I like cleansers that really go deep into the skin really clean everything out, but I know that's not ideal for people with dry or sensitive skin, which is where I think this one would be good. It has a mild frothing ability, which is nice because you're able to see where on the face you're getting in there, but not overly foamy. I see myself using this when my skin is more compromised or dry. Next up is their oil-free moisturizer. I've talked about this in videos before. I really like this formula. As far as ingredients go, it has a really impressive range of emollients and thickeners, all of which serve the purpose of what a moisturizer should do. In reality, moisturizer serves the purpose of making sure that we don't lose any water through our skin through a process called trans epidermal water loss which increases dryness and sensitivity and aging and funny enough there are a lot of moisturizers out there on the market that say they're moisturizers but in reality they don't have enough emollients and thickeners to actually serve the purpose of what a perfect moisturizer should do and this one has a really good range of those ingredients as well as and bear with me as i pronounce this dipalmitoyl hydroxyproline <laughs> just another episode of how you pronounce something wrong and polyamide both of which are rich sources in amino acids so really help to soothe and strengthen than the skin's barrier. It also has a soothing algae extract and it's completely fragrance free, of course, which I love because on leave-on treatments, I always wanna go for products that are fragrance free so that they're not increasing sensitivity. Now, I remember when I first used this product, I saw the texture and I was like, Ugh, that looks a little bit too much for my skin, probably too hydrating, but I honestly really liked my experience with this. It soaks into the skin very nicely. And even though it is a little bit thicker, it's one of those moisturizers that when you put it on your skin, it just soaks in really fast. So it doesn't feel heavy, but you still feel like you're getting a good moisturizing ability, which is where I would say this is good for people with combination skin like me. I think this is a really good moisturizer to go alongside any serums or treatments that you're using because this one serves the purpose of a good moisturizer without any active ingredients that could conflict with whatever serums or other treatments that you're using at the same time. Plus I have to say, I really do like this packaging. It's like the airless pump to where you just pump some and scoop it off and you don't have to worry about any bacteria buildup in the product. And it's also air and light tight. So you know the formula won't be compromised. Just moisturize my arms. Next, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about this one because this one has been a good discovery over the last month. It is their goat milk moisturizer. When I first saw this product, I was like, okay, this is gonna be like a crazy hydrating formula, really thick for people with super, super sensitive skin. But I was pleasantly surprised. In terms of ingredients, it has a high concentration of glycerin, which is a humectant, but also really hydrating ingredient, as well as goat milk powder, sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and aloe vera powder. All of those ingredients are gonna be really good for hydrating the skin, but also soothing any sensitivity. But the main selling point for this product for me is how lightweight the texture is. I don't know if I can show you guys exactly how 
lightweight of a moisturizer it is. I mean, if you can see, it is super lightweight, which surprised me when I first used it because I was like, wow, this is almost like a milky serum more than a moisturizer. But here's the reason why I love it so much. Wow, I'm just really moisturizing my body today, am I not? First of all, looking at the ingredient list, it does have the ingredients that you would want in a moisturizer to prevent trans epidermal water loss, but it's so lightweight and like a nice runny texture that it almost tricks you that it's not a moisturizer. And the reason why I love this so much is because typically for my overnight skincare routine, I like to go hard with the treatments. I like to use a lot of products and really test out a lot, whether it be exfoliants, hydrating serums, retinol creams, any of those I really enjoy. And I always like to follow up with a good hydrating moisturizer afterwards. But sometimes when I'm using those in addition to my other treatments, it gets really thick, heavy on my skin that it's almost greasy and feels like a little bit too much. This is the perfect moisturizer to go alongside all my overnight treatments because it makes sure that I am sealing in and protecting that moisture barrier but it doesn't feel crazy heavy almost to where it feels suffocating and if you are someone who does like to go in with a lot of treatments at night or during the day I highly recommend this moisturizer because it's a great addition that'll give you what you need without feeling heavy or greasy so now that we've gone through all of my favorite products let's talk about whether or not I think this brand is worth it or not as for the negatives I don't like that some of the products from their brand have fragrance in them you guys know I am not a fan of fragrance because I don't feel like it's necessary to a formula and can only increase the potential for irritation and sensitivity in the skin but my problem more so lies with brands that don't offer a good product selection without fragrance because there's so many brands out there who have a great product selection but all of their products have fragrance and I'm like you're completely excluding a customer base that wants to try your products but can't because they avoid fragrance and that's one of the reasons why I do like Kate Somerville so much is because clearly from the products that I just showed you they have a lot of products available that are fragrance free that deliver good results and target a variety of issues. The other thing I'm not crazy about the brand is that it is a luxury price point but like I said before I'm willing to pay a higher price point for products that have a really superior formula and like I said before Kate Somerville is doing a 25% off code with me Hiram 25 so that's a great way if you are wanting to start using Kate Somerville products but don't want to have to pay the full price point that's a quarter that you can save that's a really good deal but those are the only two things as for things I like I love the formulas that Kate Somerville has developed they're really innovative ingredient lists and textures where I'm like wow I have never seen this on the market before which is inevitably what I want in a skincare product I want to be able to buy and try things that I can't find anywhere else. And especially with their new Delicate line, they definitely deliver on that point. I also love that their products offer a variety of active ingredients, things that'll give you really quick results, but also providing products that have really gentle, soothing agents that are best for daily use without sensitizing or irritating the face. And then finally, I do love that the brand is focusing on environmental sustainability and is doing the partnership with the nonprofit organization for the month of May to donate 15% of all their profits to COVID-19 relief. Overall, I have to say, I think that Kate Somerville is a good brand. Even though they are luxury, they're definitely products that are worth the price point and very different and innovative from what you can find on the market. Oh, wow. That was one of the most in-depth reviews I think I've ever done. Bitch, I went in Whew, and I'm winded. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below what your opinions on these products are. Do you have some favorite products from Kate Somerville? Were there some that I didn't mention that you recommend? I'm sure we'd all love to hear. Thank you, Kate Somerville, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys, like I said before, for always being super cool with my sponsorship so that I can partner with companies I can really believe in. Don't forget to subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless, where it's focused on empowering you to make a positive difference in the world. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.